Hey guys, so it has been a week since the last video was made. Thought I'd give you a little update, how it's looking, progression. Let's take a little look. So, you remember we had some holes here. Well, I put some seed in and the seed is starting to come through. As you can see, soil, seed, soil, seed, soil, seed, soil and seed. And we had a dog we burn at the top of the garden. Thought I'd show you this. And we've got some seed coming through there. And ooh, one more thing. We grew some grass in pots. This is a week, a week. Okay. Now my daughter actually poked some holes in. So that's that. <laughs> but yeah, we've got some grass growing there. So that will come in handy for patch repairs on a regular basis. The minute the dog wheezes and burns, we take it out using the Pro Plugger. It goes down six inches, perfect. Take those out of there, pop them in, instant repair. Now the beauty of using established grass over seed is that you can just carry on as normal. You can put your weed killers on. You can do everything else. Let me show you what else we've got. We have an ant mount here. Okay, so we're gonna tackle that as well in this video. Let's get started. Liking this I'm liking this but I want to put some stripes in I have to be careful although there is no seeded sections here because it's all fresh turf apart from this one section here which I've got to be careful going over that but we may just be okay and we've got the dogweed burn section up there I have to be careful that I don't turn the cylinder mower when we go over but before before we do any of that there's a couple of things I want to do so the first thing we've got to do is deal with these ants so I'm going to show you now what we're going to do to deal with these ants and then I'm going to get the cylinder mower out give it a, a good mow over and then what I'm going to do after that I'm going to put some seaweed on. So now we're going to deal with ants. So there's several different species of ants. Now, usually after heavy rain, the ants will push the soil up and they're trying to rebuild the colonies and getting all the soil out of the way. Now, what you don't want is this to stay like this as a mound because if there's any grass under that soil, it's going to suffocate and the grass will not be able to see the sun, which means the grass will die. So we have to try and get rid of these mounds in whatever way we can. Now you could just get your brush, um, your glove, and just go like that and just disperse it. 
or you could use something like this or a little hand fork and just swash it backwards and forwards and that works quite well you could even use a brush or you could use a garden rake you could even use a blower and just get your blower on and blow it but if you just disperse it you make sure the grass is standing up again and that's that now you really want to be going over your lawn once a day at this time of the year and just checking for things like this okay now what we want to try and do is get rid of these ants you could use something like diatomaceous earth which cuts the ants i have got a video on ants which you can look at now it's in the top corner of the screen and that'll go into more depth into all the different ant control methods this time i'm going to use ant gone what i'm going to do you can use a spade or a trowel and just make a clean cut so right in the center yeah i'm just going to wiggle it backwards and forwards you can leave your spade in and i'm going to put a load down so take the spout off and get loads pour it down you've really got to saturate where they are just put plenty on okay and then now hopefully it will get rid of a few and then simply press it back together and that will just knit back together and hopefully we've managed to control a few but it's worth getting something like this or amp powder on hand to get it down into the soil always do it this way with a spade wiggle it backwards and forwards and pour your powder down or your diet to make sure surf or the ant gone this is good for in lawns um, around your house anywhere really the little spout that comes with it it's okay but it's quite feeble and weak so what you want to do like i say put your spade in wiggle it and pour a load down at the minute they're about 10 11 12 pounds for a five litre tub but the price does go up when demand goes up and i've seen them at 20 pounds so when they're this sort of price you want to get quite a few and just keep them in and i'll leave a link to that in the description where you can buy the ant gone so that is now flat which is what we want which means it, the soil if you left a mound there when we run the mower over a heavy roller mower it's going to squash the soil down and squash the blades of grass underneath so that's done now the next step i'm going to get the cylinder mower out and give it a nice mow we're going to go over it a couple of times try and get some nice defining stripes then we're going to put some seaweed on pretty good it always makes you feel good doesn't it it makes you feel good once your grass looks neat neat and nice and it really does lift your mood so what we're gonna do now is put some seaweed on just to help it along um, now we've got two sprayers here we've got the Oregon backpack sprayer approximately 30 quid then we've got the flow zone battery powered backpack sprayer I have not used this since last year because I lost the charger cable and I've searched high and low I had to get a new charger cable which came charge the battery up and now we can use it so I'm going to be using that today to put some seaweed on now putting on multimite we can go up to 50 mil of this per litre of water used my lawn takes around 
four litres, four and a half litres, something like that. So I can do about 200 mil of this in four litres. Now these are both great sprayers. They really are. I've been using that all last year for everything and uh, no problems, no faults with it whatsoever. This one, really good. You don't have to do any pumping at all. You just press a button and that's what I like about it. It's a lot easier on you. Okay, that is on. Lock the battery in. I think it was iron I was putting down in this last year. As you can see the iron stains. So I need to be a little bit careful but there may still be a few traces of iron in there. Yeah, you can see the iron sediment inside. So I'll just be a bit careful as we are spraying. Let's get my four litres in. We can even go to six litres and go over it a couple of times. We could put eight litres in and go over two or three times. But uh, you don't have to be super accurate. So you've got handy gauges on the front. And then we want about 200 mil of Multimite seaweed. You can put this on twice a week if you want to. Yeah, there's definitely iron in there. So I need to be a bit careful going on the lawn afterwards. Right, 200. Filter back in. So all you do, you select your pressure. You've got one to five on the little dial. Five comes out really heavy, one comes out really light. If you're not sure, put it on number one and go over your lawn a few times. I'm gonna go, we'll go on number five and we'll see how we get on. This is great if you find pumping a sprayer really hard and it's really comfy actually this. I'll leave a link as well to this and the Oregon sprayer and the Multimite in the description. Okay, that is it. Um, just ongoing maintenance really. Mowing regular, but we've not been able to because of the rain and it's got long and I've accidentally cut it too short. So it may get stressed for a while. The seaweed's gonna help with that. So yeah, get back in some nice mowing. We've got the seeds in, we've put some seaweed on and uh, we've made it look good again. So thanks for watching. Questions, comments, please leave them down below. I will answer as many as I possibly can and try and keep it nice for you um here to help thumbs up would be absolutely amazing subscribe if you want to if you've enjoyed it other than that catch you on the next one